Welcome back to the Cox Pavilion as the Bulls lead the Hornets by 14. And we're here and joined by two-time NBA champion, of course, NCAA champion Mario Chalmers. Now, Mario, it's been a while since you were out here, uh, but you've been taking in these particular games. What are your memories of being in Summer League? I'm um, just going out and showing out your, your skills. You know, you're fresh out of college. It's your first time to touch the NBA scene and be seen by, you know, NBA fans. So it's a good time to come out and just have fun and play a game. Now, do you have any specific memories from back then? I mean, you were a second-round pick. Uh, you came in with the Miami Heat, and, you know, you had to make your way onto that roster. You definitely had to make my way. I mean, uh, back in my day, we was in Orlando. So I remember uh, just a little short drive to Orlando, um, getting ready for every game, uh, being around Michael Beasley. The first game we played Derrick Rose in the, in the Bulls, so... Um, it was always a great matchup, always good fun. And, of course, your time there was incredible. I mean, you had so many great memories there, winning two championships. I remember the game in Sacramento. You had 10 threes. You tied a Miami Heat record. When you think back to that four-year stretch with LeBron and D. Wade and Chris Bosh and yourself and that entire group, what's the fondest memory you have? Um, you know, just being there with that collective group of guys. Um, you know, not many people get to say they play with, you know, four Hall of Famers, five Hall of Famers if you had Ray on that team. So, um, you know, just being able to, to enjoy those guys, play with those some of the greats and, um, you know, learn basketball from them. Now, you mentioned when Ray, uh, about Ray, but, you know, Ray hit that infamous shot that we all know. It could be arguably the greatest shot in NBA Finals history. What were your memories of that situation, down five, 28 seconds to go against the Spurs? Um, you know, just believe, you know, being in that situation, uh, you know, playing in college, playing in Memphis, being in a similar situation. Um, just keep believing and know something was going to happen. And, uh, you know, when, when you got a guy named Jesus on your team, uh, it always works out the way it's supposed to. So. Yeah, no doubt. And now, again, you, you mentioned your big shot in college. Which was the which was the bigger shot, your shot or his shot? Um, that's a tough call. I might I'm, I'm have to say his shot because it helped us get to the, to the game seven where we needed to get our second championship. So, um it goes to, I'd say it's a tie, actually. It's okay. a tie. Fair enough. And then you, you obviously had a 10-day with Miami last year. You played with Sioux Falls. What's in store for you moving forward? Um, I don't know yet. Trying to figure it out. Um, you know, I still want to play. But, uh, you know, I see how the game is going. See how they're getting younger and younger. So, um, been through a lot of basketball situations. So, I think coaching or player development is the next thing for me. Um, you know, I've got a lot of basketball knowledge I can share. Well, Rio, congratulations if that's the case on a great career. Uh, best of luck moving forward, and thanks for joining us. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, guys, back to you. All right, thanks a lot, George. Great interview, George, with Mario Chalmers. Had his best days with the Miami Heat. Interesting summer league reflections. Yeah, they played up in Orlando first before coming out here to Las Vegas back in the day. And, of course, uh, everybody remembers his time with the Heat, man, those four consecutive years playing for the NBA championship. Saw Mario work out recently down in Miami at Stan Remy's gym, one of the noted NBA trainers down there. See, defensively, what a great job coming over, the big fella. Wanting to try to finish it off with the dunk. You know, back to Chalmers, one thing that really marked his stay in Miami was, at times, his irrational confidence. If you ask Mario Chalmers, and it worked in his favor, and I mean this as a positive personality trait, his irrational confidence really imbued himself confidence-wise to better performances along the way. And, uh, you know, a lot of times he and LeBron would get into these real heated and passionate exchanges but the entire team benefited as a result. Jonesy, to, to that point, when yes. I covered that team in Miami back in those days before I arrived at ESPN, you know, they used to call them the big three, as you know, and then the little 12. There you and go. And Mario used to take exception to yes. that. Udonis was the one that would call them the, the little 12, and Mario Mario thought it was the big four, okay? Yeah. <laughs> because of the type of shots he would hit in those games. You know what I'm talking about there, George. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Uh, my question is... Is it rational confidence? Is that yours or is that Jeff Van Gundy's? Which one of you guys used that Actually, first? 